everyone, it's Peg, and as you can see, I've <laughs> begun my day and my hands are already getting inky, so, um, you know, I was trying to do a little cleanup, but today what I plan to work on is Mission Inspiration for August. Um, this is a Facebook group. Uh, Mike Deacon sponsors this challenge each month, and there are several challenges within the group, so check them out if you're on Facebook and join us. Um, it's a lot of fun. So pardon me, I'm just uh, turning off my phone and plugging things in and getting ready to get started here. Um, I'm going to use this, I'm trying to use this uh, extra large mixed media. This is a 9 by 12 from Canson that I've been working out of for some time now. Um, Oh boy, I'm boring myself, so I'm flipping through just trying to find the right page. I had one that was gessoed, and that's what I intend to use, and eventually I'll find it here, but oh my goodness, I could spend more time just looking for the page I'm going to work on. So the first step in this process says cover your page with book text fragments. And I have some old dictionary pages. Um, I'm looking them over, trying to figure out what do I want to use. There's some cool images. I don't want to use those because I know I'm going to be layering other things. So I'm just going to find some with some text on it, clean my brush, put some shielding lotion on my hands, and get ready to work. And, uh, yeah, my brush is dirty. <laughs> I'm a dirty girl. And I get way too much decoupage on my page and so I'm trying to move that around get it onto my paper slosh it around yeah I did say messy girl right you know that now right anyway um, yeah I just keep working it's a page folks it's it's not rocket science I don't care if I make a mess um, that's part of the fun for me and like I said messy girl what can I say <laughs> I make no excuses for my messes so um, just continuing to glue and get those things down in uh, yeah I'll dry that and then I'll be back okay we're ready for step two which says add a thin wash of paint or gesso well I'm gonna use paint because the the colors for this month are buttermilk warm gray and peach and they're all very very soft colors so I'm thinking that'll be fine for the background. I pulled out, I don't have those particular ones, but I've got a Peach Bellini, which is an Adirondack light. Um, I have a Chalky Finish Americana, which is called Delicate. And I have some media paint. This is a gray dark value, but I can mix it with some white and get a lighter gray shade. So, and if I add a little bit of warmth to it, if I add a little bit of warmth to it, it should lighten it up considerably and make it what we're looking for. So I think I'm going to use this Peach Bellini because it's about done and I can probably finish it off just using it as a wash here. See, there's not much in that bottle. Probably should have started with some clean water, but oh well. You can see it just kind of knocks that text back. And gives a thin wash, which is what we were after, right? So how's everybody's day going? Be sure and comment in the section below. I like to hear from you, know that you've been here. Um, if you want to get further notification from me, if you're on a computer or laptop or something where you can do it, there's a little bell below and you can ring that bell a couple times even and get notification when I'm going to be on. Uh, because that's the only way you will be notified because I don't send out 
mass mail, about this kind of thing. Okay, so you can see I have a thin coat on there. And I put a lid on my, of course it would help if I wiped that off. I'm such a messy girl. All right, what did I, I lost my, <gasps> how do I work like this? I need to get something here to clean up the edge because otherwise I won't be able to get the lid off later. You guys have that problem? I certainly have that problem. All right, so I cleaned up my edge. I'm going to put the lid back on that one. We're going to dry this, and then I'll be back. All right, that is dry. I told you I was going to get messy. See all this junk on my fingers? <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. Um, the next step, step three, says stamp over your page with ink or paint. Well, I prefer ink. Um, I'm pretty much done with paint. Um, so I pulled out some archival ink because this is going to be permanent on the page. And I'm going to stick with my same colors, the buttermilk, warm gray, and peach. So for that, I pulled out a buttercup, watering can, and peach. Or excuse me, this is called Bright uh, Tangelo. This is out of the new small mini line uh, of archival inks. And I'm going to use those to stamp. And I'm just going to start with, I think I'm just going to start with some color in the background. And I have this box that I keep on my desk, uh, which is just uh, textural things, things to, to use, stamps to use for this type of project. Oh, I like this. I like this sunflower looking piece. It says sunshine. And it's got, all right, we're going to pull that one out. This is a Prima stamp set. And I'm not going to bother with mounting it on a block or anything. I'm just going to use it on my page. Yeah. add some color. And I'm not going to put it all over the whole thing. Um, I'm thinking my focal point is going to be somewhere in here just because of the way my book turns. And so I'm going to just get some of this into the background. And then I think I might even come back with that other color with the same image. Um, this bright tangelo. Do I want the same image or do I? Yeah, we'll stick with the same one. You see, just, just oh yeah, that's pretty bright. <laughs> that's that's not peach. That's bright. But that's okay. I'm just getting partial images here. And I think what I want to do, wipe that off, stick it back in the package. I think what I want to do is tame that down just a little bit because that's pretty bright. So in order to tame that, I have, I have a, a little bit of white pearl. See if I can get this to spray. Yeah. That worked pretty good. Let me dry this. And I have my whoops. I have my watering can. And I think I'm gonna start with a text. You can see I abuse these. Um, I don't even know whose or what stamp this is. It's an old one. It's just for text. And no, you cannot read it. Nothing like that, but I'm going to use this gray.
then I have this one is an Andy Skinner. I do know that. And I'm going to I'm going to use that same gray and just add a little smudge here and there. Into the background. And... What else do I have here? I'm kind of liking that. I don't think it needs much more. Um, what else do I have? Mm, nothing really appropriate for this. Oh, well, I do have, I do have this little heart. I might keep this out because that might be a direction I'm headed. So, all right, that was step. Three. Step four is add one or more focal images. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with a tag. I've got these uh, Julie Nutting tags. I don't know if I, I like this. It's it's interesting because it has those same kind of warm buttercream. Can you see that that buttercream color? So that's good. That would work. And what else have I got here? Ooh, I like that one too. That's got more of those peachy, peachy gray tones. All right, I might use two tags. I might use two tags, right? And... Oh, you know what? I have I have this package. This is a, a love letter package. It came from uh, Mary Almas, uh, O L M O S Seidel, S I D D E L L. She has a channel, and I'll try to put a link in. But uh, this uh, we have a local store, and she dropped it off at the store, and the store owner had forgotten. And then the other day, she said, "Oh, you know, I've got a package for you." And uh, so I, I got this really cool. I mean, how cute is that? I might, I might, I might want to use some of that on my page. That's pretty cute. But aren't those cute little embellishments? And this has that, this has that gray in it, right? This piece here. And I like that, that package, that brown in there too. So I'm thinking, what do I want to do with that? All right, it might become part of what I'm doing later. Um, okay, don't ask me why. There's a storm going on out here, and uh, all of a sudden, my phone has started talking to me. So I really like this. Um, I'm thinking it might become incorporated in here. I really like these. I like this. So I think they are going to become, and I'm thinking I might make I might make a pocket out of this yeah let's make a pocket get my phone folder and I'll get some tape Just put that down. The edge to kind of hold that in place. Oh, good, I cut the edge off. Oh, well. <laughs> That's a oops, oh, well, Dina Wakely style. Um, I'm a messy girl like she is, so you might know I'd have a few oops, oh, wells. All right. So I'm going to and I'm just going to 
fasten the edge to keep it from coming apart later. And we now have a nice little pocket here. All right, so I have that. I have this. And this. I'm going to cut that in half. I think I'm going to cut that in half. So I can use it in more than one place because it is appropriate to what we're doing here. All right. So I think I'll tape those down. Look, it even has the gray on the edge here. Which side do I want? This one is not as bold as this one. I think I like the grungier look. I don't know. I don't know. Which one do I want? That one? Yeah, I think I like that one. All right, so I'm going to put some tape on. And I'm trying to... I'm trying to determine what you guys want because, you know, I can speed things up. I can make it fast. I can make it slow so you can see every single stinking detail. Um, but, you know, I don't want to bore you guys to death with this stuff either because I know a lot of you do this type of work. And I, I, I don't know if you want to see the whole thing or not. So let me know what you want to see and what you don't. Um, I noticed the other day YouTube is making more changes again. I tried to speed something up and couldn't. So <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. I think I might use a glue stick on that. All right, so let's peel this. It is full of static electricity because we are storming. Um, Oh, look at that pretty peachy color that's coming out on the background. Can you guys see that? really like how that worked out. It's giving me the, the shade that I was looking for. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. And... Da -da -da -da. We have this. I think it's going to go more towards the bottom. Yeah. And I need a glue stick here. I can, I can, this is going to go up in here. I think I'm going to put means I want to put this right about in here. This is a YooHoo glue stick. Uh, it's a really good glue stick if you guys are looking for a dryer adhesive to use. Okay, so I'll put that there. And this one, this one we'll put over here. Or do I want it down here? I think I want it down here. Oh, decisions, decisions. I can slip that under the edge. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Yay. As the little train said, I think I can. Okay, and then this one I need to tape a bit to. I'll use a little bit bigger piece of tape on that. I can find good enough. All right, let's get that down on the page. Yeah. 
then it says add washi tape or pattern paper strips. <laughs> I just did my pattern paper. Can I call that good? <laughs> washi tape. What do I have for washi tape? Let's see. Put this this right up here and let's bring in a dark indicate where the end of this is. Put this here. Put another one here. I've got, let's see, what have I got? I've got this musical notes. That's kind of good anywhere, right? Upside down. Let's get our music going the right direction, huh? Up to tempo. Let's see. Yeah, that's washy. Let's do another little. This one looks like a little piece of lace. I like that. Let's add a little piece of lace right there. I might add more later. I don't know. We got washi tape, right? All right, what else? Texture paste through a stencil. Ooh, texture paste. Uh, let me see if I have some light molding paste. I'll be back. All right, so I found some light paste, and I'm thinking I want to tint it with this, uh, well, what I'm calling my buttercream. This is a, um, actually, I might make a couple of piles to tint here. That's one. That's another. Because I want to get some more of those colors onto the page. So I'm going to pull some of that paste out. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this delicate paint to that pile. Let's see if I can get that mixed in. pretty good. And then I just want a drop of this um, dark gray. Let me get the lid back on this before I spill it because <laughs> I've been known to do that. Get a little bit of the dark gray mixed in with this which should lighten it up. 
to get that gray tone that we're looking for, a warm gray. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So I'm liking that. So we've got our two texture paste. It says texture paste through a stencil, but I'm going to use more than one stencil. I have, let's see, I don't know if I want this one or that one. That's mighty swirly. I think I like, I think I like this one. I think I might try this. You can get a palette knife. Clean some of that off of there. up and let's just let's just try this oh yeah I'm liking that let's get something down here damaged. Gets that way after a while. Clean this edge. Get a baby wipe. I have one. Here we go. Wet nap to the rescue. right there. And I think I need at least one more spot. Let's go over here. Just add a little bit right in. Yeah, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I can't quit. Put that over there. And we'll call it good. All right. Uh, just a little bit right there. All right. So I need to clean that off before I go to my gray. Clean my stencil quickly. Okay, so then I've got this one that's just more textural I want to use with the gray. Oops, I need to clean my palette knife. So let's do I just hit that.
Okay. I'm just going to get the edge of this a little bit. Got some extra. Might as well use it, right? Okay, clean that up and I'll be back. Now, step seven says add splatters, drips, or runs. I better get my protection on here because I've washed my hands now and it's gone. So I'm going to add some more shielding lotion because I'm going to get messy again with splatters, drips, and runs. And one of the things I'm going to start with is I have this Tim Holtz stencil, which is splatters, which I like and use a lot, as you can tell. And I'm going to start, whoops, I'm going to start with, I'm going to grab a blending tool. And I'm going to start with an archival ink in my palette, which is the watering can. And I'm going to begin by doing splatters using the stencil. This little bit right here. And then we need something down here. And I also think I want to obscure some of this. Yes. Yes, I do. Maybe a little bit in here. Like so. All right. Splatters, drips, what else do I want? I want a little bit, I've got some, this is cotton candy from Prima. I'm going to use just a little bit of that to tone down that buttery color, which is mighty yellow. And a little bit of that white, and we'll dry that. So now I've completed steps one through eight, and I've used the colors in the palette, but I haven't used these words. Um, and I think I'm inspired by this kiss. Um, uh, it's time for me to embellish my page more. I have everything else on there. I have um, these books that I keep with all kinds of uh, ephemera and things to go in. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking because we're thinking kiss, let's get these stamps out of the way. Um, What I want is, let's see, I like this thread. I think what I want is something in the same color family. So right off the top, that works. So I'm just going to 
you know, put a little color around the edges of these things and make them pop off the page a bit. Um, I have some pieces that I stamped from Wendy Vicky's stamp set. Um, I have some ephemera from Tim Holtz's, um, what are they? Paper dolls. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to use those on my page and um, just embellish the page because it was not finished at this point, even after the eight steps. So um, adding some color to those hearts that I stamped and I will place them in the pocket. Sorry, folks, I bumped the camera and I'm just gluing things down. Um, going to add some coloration around the edge of the page with some ink and um, put my pieces together here and that's about it for me today. Um, hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again soon because we have um, ATC challenge coming up and we have pick a stick challenge coming up and oh my goodness lots of things going on yet this month. So I am done and I did a little bit of border work with my ink. I just edged the page uh, to darken it a bit. Um, you can see that it just draws the eye in a little bit. I came in with a little bit of the darkness here and I added some uh, Copic work on the florals here. And that's about it for August. Um, all I have left to do is date stamp and sign and I will be finished and I'll see you again next month and hope to see you there. Bye.